Hello all, welcome back to Learn at Cloud Analytics. In today's section, we would be talking about the differences between Power Query and Power Pivot and what are the different parts of Power BI. So in Power BI, there are three different parts that are uh, mainly involved with. So the first part is the Power Query and the second part is the Power Pivot and thirdly, it is Power View. So what is meant by a Power Query? So after we establish a data connection within Power BI, uh, we might be needed to perform some transformations on the connected data, right? So transformations as in like if there are any unwanted col columns to be removed or a renaming of the existing columns or changing the data types of a specific column or um, uh, we might be needed to uh, create a new calculated field or a measure or do some uh, required transformations on the data set. So that's when we make use of this Power Query Editor. So Power Query Editor mainly uses a, a language called M language. So M language or mashup language. So uh, whenever we try to perform any transformations, we have to make use of this Power Query Editor. So Power Query Editor is an inbuilt ETL tool within Power BI Desktop, which helps us to perform all the ETL transformations on the given data set. The second part is the Power Pivot. So Power Pivot is mainly helpful to model the data. So if we have multiple tables that have been uh, connected to within Power BI Desktop, by using this Power Pivot, it would help us to define the relationships among those tables and help us to gather the required um, analysis on top of the resultant data. So Power Pivot uh, mainly makes use of the DAX language. And the third part is the Power View. So after we make the necessary transformations on the data using Power Query Editor and do the relationships or uh, do the data modeling using the Power Pivot, Power View is the section where or the phase where we are actually uh, building or developing the required visualization within Power BI. So Power View is nothing but by making use of the respective visual or chart, we are able to transform the data into a pictorial representation. So as you can see, so this sort of a view is nothing but the power view through which we are able to see the visual representation. So these are the different parts of Power BI Desktop and I hope you like this video. If you so, please do like, subscribe and share this video. Thank you.